Nigerian independence and electoral processes in Nigeria. Independence and electoral processes in Nigeria. Welcome to this lesson. Nigeria gained its independence in 1960, 1st of October, 1960. The day was welcomed with lots of joy and celebration. But first, how did Nigeria gain her independence? This is another frequently asked question about Nigeria. Nigeria's independence, unlike many, was achieved through diplomatic means rather than by brutal force of violence. One global event which contributed to this grand achievement was the Second World War, which started in 1939 and ended in 1945. The war sparked what is to become a decolonization of the country. Okay, countries like Ghana and South Africa have one time experienced independence. After the war in 1945, when British has become seriously weakened, okay, the movement for independence gained momentum in not only Nigeria but other African countries. The movement was led by two regional groups in Nigeria, the Council of Nigerian Citizens, who were predominantly Igbos and Yorubas, and the Northern People's Congress, who were predominantly the Houses. These two groups lobbied the colonizations, traveling all the way to the UK to meet with the Queen and other important British officials. Fortunately, after about one and a half decade of diplomatic lobbying, their efforts bore fruit. Okay, Nigerian autonomy on October 1st, 1960. And the country became a self-governing state headed by Dr. Namdi Azikiwe as the first president of Nigeria. Three years down the line, in 1963, the country became a republic and subsequently adopted the name Federal Republic of Nigeria. May God bless Nigeria and her friends worldwide. 1st of October 1960 was the day Nigeria gained her independence from the British. Before the independence, Nigeria had some sort of freedom but could not be exercised without authorization from the British government. The Independence Day ceremony was held in Lagos State, Nigeria. Okay, Tafawa Abubakar Belewa was there and even the Queen was represented. Nigeria was void of war during independence, okay, compared to some African nations that we that got into war due to the solicitation for independence. Nigeria got its independence on a platter of gold, and this is true due to all these heroes who fought for the independence of Nigeria. Our next topic is on electoral processes in Nigeria, voting and election system in Nigeria. So we are going to discuss on this topic the electoral system in Nigeria and the voting patterns. If a citizen is planning to run for the position of governorship, house of rep, councillor, senator, or even the position of the president, there are processes that the person has to undergo. 
The President, uh, General Muhammad Buhari, reduced the age limit to run for the position of presidency, governorship, and house of rep. Previously, you have to be 40 years before you run for the seat of the president, but he reduced it to 35 years. Governorship from 35 to 30 years. House of Rep from 30 to 25 years. This was to encourage the youth to start participating in the political scene of Nigeria. Not just the seat of the president, there are other offices which the youths can occupy in Nigeria. Most citizens who have attained the age of 18 has the right to vote. Voting is not just a right, it's also a responsibility. So what is voting? Voting is when a group of people decide something by saying what they want. Once the people have decided they want something, so the next thing is for the ballot papers to be counted and then the majority wins the votes. Oftentimes, you're put in a position to vote, especially when your family is deciding for the right restaurant for dinner or your friends decide on which park to play. We typically get involved with deciding what we want. In Nigeria, we vote in elections to elect our leaders. So an election is the process of voting to choose someone to be the political leader or representative of the people in a government. Remember, Nigeria is practicing democracy, so we always vote for people who share our beliefs. And they make decisions on issues which affect the rights of the citizen. Voting is a process in which the citizens have a say in how the country is being governed. Now, to win an election, politicians have to persuade people to vote for them. Most often, they lobby with different material gifts and they belong to political parties. These politicians must belong to a political party. Countries like USA have two party systems, the Democratic Party system and the Republican. But in Nigeria here, we have lots different kinds of uh, party. We have the People's Democratic Party. We have the APC. We have different party systems in Nigeria. Now, these different political parties have a set of beliefs that help them to make their decisions. These beliefs and policies help them make their informed decisions. Each political party comes up with uh, the different policies, list of policies that the politicians promises to carry out if elected. This list of policies is called the politician's uh, platform. Then the politicians will give speeches about their platforms. Often they run advertisements to convince voters to vote for them. Politicians who are running for offices can campaign for a long time, sometimes even years before the actual voting takes place. Before a person can vote, they need to register. Register to vote. Some persons go to the different political parties they belong to to register and most often they are given forms to fill in the course of their registration. The Independent National Electoral Commission is the body responsible for registering all eligible voters in Nigeria before the main voting. So once you're of age to vote, it's very important you register and you vote during elections. You may vote for politicians in your country, in your states, in your constituencies, or your towns, or voting in your local communities like bringing in the councillors into office and how the... In every country, there are voting laws. First, the voter must be a citizen of that country, in this case, Nigeria. You must be at least 18 years of age. It's uh, free to vote. Then voting is voluntary. Voters can only vote once in an election. You can't force someone to vote. It's very much illegal to force someone to vote. And again, a citizen can vote only once in an election. Voting laws can be different from country to country, okay? In some countries, uh, someone who has been convicted for any felony, who has been imprisoned, cannot vote. And even in some states, those that have finished serving their prison terms could not still be allowed to vote. Election happens at different times during the year. 
But when it's an election day, many people go to different places to vote. These places are known as the polling units or polling place. The voting polling place is most likely to be a school or a library. Okay, it's a public building. The voter identifies itself in the polling place to the election official, in this case in Nigeria, the INEC official, after which is given a ballot to go and cast his vote. A ballot is a piece of paper that has all the candidates the voters can choose from, even their parties. The type of office the politicians are running for will determine the type of election that is going on. So this is the electoral process in Nigeria, okay? Thanks for watching this video and please uh, do uh, complete the assignment at the back of your test book and upload properly. See you in the next class. Be good.